Hello, my name is Melissa Daniels, and this is Strabismus 2 Stereopsis. Today, we are gonna talk all about using virtual reality to help with strabismus or amblyopia. And I'm gonna talk about the different types of virtual reality headsets there are and which one I would recommend for people with strabismus. Before we jump into that, go over to learn.strabismussolutions.com for extra resources. I've got a couple different courses, Mastering Peripheral and Confidence with Strabismus, and they really actually both are similar. Both of them are helping us see the bigger picture, one physically, one mentally, both super, super important for strabismus. So definitely go check those out. Also, you can sign up for a Zoom call with me where we go through your history, all the details, where you're at right now, and I kind of help get you lined out on like where to go next, whether that's surgery, vision therapy, maybe a help with, if you're in vision therapy, I've had a lot of people who say, I'm just really stuck and I can help you get over those like hurdles, over those plateaus. So love to talk to people on Zoom. There's also some free resources, um, eating for stereopsis, taking the quiz to help kind of give you more direction. So lots of resources over there, so be sure to check it out. All right, let's jump into Oculus. So there are a lot of different types of headsets. We've got like, I think the HTC Vibe and like a lot of different headsets. Honestly, they're more for gamers, in my opinion. I am not a gamer. I don't know tons about technology. It's kind of funny to me that I'm doing a video about technology and which one to get. <laughs> but I'll just say like, unless you're like a gamer, in which case, if you are, you're already gonna know which one to get but most of the apps that you're gonna use for vision therapy are easiest to get or only available by using an Oculus Quest. So um, Oculus is just like a company, it's like the meta, it's like Facebook, Oculus, I don't know, they're like all this big conglomerate, I have no idea, but they're the ones that are making these different headsets. And so there's been, I, I don't know how many, I got one like six years ago, I don't have any more, but then, um, I don't remember what it was called, but then we have the Oculus Quest 1. Um, this one was super heavy, and when I first got it, it was amazing, but it is just definitely, um, it's definitely heavy. The cameras weren't as good. Um, the pass-through mode was really sketchy. Then upgraded to the Oculus 2. The Oculus Quest 2 was so, is so light. The resolution, the field of view, so many things were so improved. Um, love this one. I've been using this one for the last two years and I've really, really gained a lot using this. One thing that I love about the Oculus 2, and I I don't know, maybe the Oculus 1 kind of has the capability, but not really. Like, just don't even think about getting the Oculus 1. But the Oculus 2, um, there's these cameras and they actually take a picture of the room that you're in and this kind of helps keep you safe, right? Part of it is so for safety, so you don't run into a wall, but also you you can create an environment, and in some games, <clears throat> you can turn on something called pass-through mode. And in pass-through mode, there are aspects of the game, like, for example, in Optics Trainer, which is a vision therapy app, there's this, you know, you, there's a game where you're punching, and there's these different balls that appear that are like red and blue, and you have to punch them with the right hand, okay? real fun, don't hit the bombs. And you can either have that in virtual realities, so where your whole background and the room that you're in is like a boxing ring, or you can click a button in the game and all those little balls actually appear, you know, in your living room or wherever you're playing on your Oculus. So it uses the cameras from here and then it puts the game kind of inside of your environment. So that's what you're seeing, which is kind of mind blowing and amazing. So. I love that, that that started coming with the Oculus 2. There's, you know, Optics Trainer has a lot of great stuff with pass-through. There's a few other apps. Trip, I love that one has um, a great pass-through mode. Um, I'll have to do another video all about the apps that I'm currently using and, and the things that I found the most beneficial. But this is just about the devices, okay? So, love the Oculus 2. It's a great option. If you are trying to buy an Oculus 2, you're gonna be, it's gonna be a little tricky. Um, they're not really selling them unless they're used on Amazon or like they're like four, they're more expensive than the newer ones. But if you go on like Facebook Facebook Marketplace, you can get one. I, I see a lot listed for 200, but I think you could totally get one for 150. 
Um, you don't need a certain amount of storage. Like you're going to be fine. The, the storage restrictions are definitely going to be more for people who are like doing gaming and like attaching it to their PC and they need lots of like, that's not the kind of games you're going to be playing for vision therapy for strabismus. And again, if you are, then you know more about this than I do. So this is, video is for people who are new to the virtual reality. Okay. So Oculus 2 is a great option, but Oculus has come out with a three and the 3S. So the 3S is kind of a lower tier and then the three is a little, actually quite a bit better. Um, and there, there are different things that come with that three versus the 3S. And for me, I went with a 3S because it had the features that I wanted um, the most and it was a way better deal. I got it for like $200 less. And so I'm like, yeah, this is gonna work for what I want. So first I'm gonna talk about the 3S upgrades and then we'll talk about the 3 up upgrades. So these two are super, super similar. They have the same type of camera on the inside, very similar, um, I think the exact same resolution, uh, the field of view, so how far you can see and have things still be clear, st it's like 90 degrees. So it's not, you know, this whole thing, but it, it, they're, they're very similar on the inside. I think the processing speed is a little faster on the 3S, I can't remember. That's the kind of thing I'm not gonna really notice, honestly, because of the types of games I'm playing. The biggest upgrade on this is the pass-through mode. So you'll notice on this one, you've got these like four little black dots. Those are the pass-through cameras. So it's kind of, it's pretty blurry and black and white. So when it's taking a picture of the room that you're in, so you're in here, you're literally just gonna see black, but it can project the room that you're in, in into this Oculus, okay? It's very black and white. Honestly, it doesn't even look that 3D to me, even though it should, because it's in VR, but it just looks kind of like, kind of blurry, a little murky, kind of gray, grayscale type stuff. When I first discovered the games that you could play in pass-through mode on the Oculus 2, it was mind-blowing and the greatest thing I'd ever done, okay? But then I put on the Oculus 3S and it was, it's just like a whole new level. So it's got these like super high quality cameras. So everything's like in color and, and I'm like, the, the room looked more 3D inside of my headset than it did in real life. I mean, in a different way. I don't know, it's hard to explain, but it's amazing. I've only had it for a week, but I've played a few different games with it and the difference is huge. It makes, it makes a, a really big difference to have those extra cameras on pass-through mode. With strabismus, most of us aren't able to use our eyes together, right? That's our big problem. Or amblyopia, we're only using one eye or the other. And you know, the, the virtual reality makes it so much easier to do this because you can tailor these cameras. You can, you can shift the little cameras to match your eye turn. You can add prism. You can do all these things that like really help equalize your eyes. It makes it so much easier for you to, to see in 3D, okay? It's like doing a, the, the assisted pull-up, like having that stretchy band or something that helps you do a pull-up. Virtual reality makes it so much easier. But then you take the virtual reality headset off and you're in the real world and it goes back to the way it was because you don't have that assistance anymore. It's like, I, I can do an assisted pull-up but I can't do one by myself, right? And so the pass-through mode to me is like, it's like an in-between step. It's kind of helping you bring virtual into real life and as you're doing that, it's helping your brain apply what you're learning in virtual reality and put it into the real world. So. That is why, to me, pass-through mode is so, so important on, like for the Oculus, like when you're using it, you wanna be doing at least some things in pass-through so that you're kind of, you know, bridging that gap for your brain. I don't know how they measure it, but um, on the Oculus website, they say that the pass-through cameras are 10 times better on the Quest 3S and 3 as they are on the 2. Now, let's talk about the 3S versus the 3. I've never tried the 3, so I can't, you know, I can't say exactly, but I can, I looked at the specs and everything. So, exact same cameras and everything for pass-through mode. That's exactly the same on the 3S and the 3, which is my most important part. Other things that are different though, they have a different kind of lens inside of the 3 which makes it so the edges don't blur and you have a wider field of view. So instead of 90 degrees, you have 110 degrees, which is a big difference. Like, you know, maybe I'll upgrade next year. I don't know, we'll see. Um, 
Also, you have a better resolution. So instead of, I think it's like 18 by 19, it's like 20 by 22 as the resolution. So it's not like crazy different, but it is improved. If you are using a virtual reality headset for vision therapy and for working with strabismus, I would definitely recommend getting the 3S. That is the one um, that's available right now. It's 2024. That's the one that I would go for. It has the amazing pass-through mode, really great resolution, it's lightweight. The controllers are like an added bonus that they don't have that annoying ring around the top. You can get the other ones, but again, if you're just getting one for the first time, I'd go for the 3S. That one is going to check all of your boxes. I know your next question is going to be, what apps am I using on the Oculus right now? So I will put a link in the description below with a few different apps like my top five that I'm using right now and then there'll be a video coming out soon where I talk about how I'm using different apps for vision therapy or just for fun right now. And one last thing, make sure you use a referral link when you sign up for your new Oculus and you're setting up your account. If you use a referral link, you'll get $30 store credit and so will the person whose referral link you use. So I'll put mine in the description, but you could also use a friend's or whoever's and you'll both get $30 store credit, which is pretty exciting. So good luck with that and let me know if you have any questions and we will see you in the next video.